Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas, this is how to create a hyper casual game in Unity and welcome to episode 18. In this tutorial we're going to add a scoring system to our little game as well as a couple of little tweaks and we'll see where we go from there. Don't forget click the subscribe button and click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial still to come in this series and everything else on game development on my channel. If you've enjoyed this series so far please feel free to check me out on Patreon or YouTube memberships where you'll earn things like early access, exclusive content, project files and a whole lot more. With that in mind let's get to work. So it became apparent in the last tutorial that it may be actually quite difficult to play this game as it is with the way it generates, but we may change that in the future. So I want to add a score to this right now. I'm going to do it the same kind of way as our last scene that we created. And you know what we might do? Let's actually go to that scene and let's take our score uh, panels. Now, if I remember correctly, if we press play on this one, um, we do actually start displaying some uh, functionality after we've tapped here and it's this up here so we need to take the score display in fact what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn off that splash background so I can see a little better so yeah uh, let's take this score display here along with um, panel is it panel two? I think it's panel two, yeah. So I'm simply going to take panel two and score display, copy those out of that scene, head back to our cube avoid game, uh, no we don't want to save, and paste them here and drag them onto the canvas and we should see them appear up here. Let's just reorder that there, perfect when that's gone up there. And obviously we want both of those to appear behind those big buttons simply because we need those buttons to be um, at the forefront of everything because that's what makes us move left and right. So now we've got our score in place let's write that script to allow us to add a score let's say 10 every time we go over a ledge. So to do that what we'll need to do is if we go to our player we will need to add a character controller if you've not already got one. So if we go add component and type in char you'll see character controller right there uh, it's obviously on there for me so there we go i've added the character controller onto our player object this is what allows us to collide with certain spaces to increase our score so i now want to add a tag to this the reason i want to add a tag is because we don't want to add a score if anything else should collide with it so i'm going to add a tag here and let's click plus and let's have this as player object and uh, it does also mean that we do have to tag that player object much like we did with the orbs if you remember that so now let's go to our scripts um, let's right click create a C sharp script and have this as score cube monitor Let's open that up in Visual Studio and this one's going to be a quick and simple script because the main idea of this is that we can use this to display our score much like we have done previously. So what we're going to do with that is using unity engine.ui semicolon and this is all going to be done in update method, uh, the update method so we can get rid of everything else. Uh, we do need to declare two variables that we need to declare an actual score and we need to declare the game object that we're going to display this score in so public static and again it needs to be static because we're going to interact with a separate script here uh, int and we'll have score num short for score number i guess uh, next one public game object and this one is going to be the score display score disp short for display so what we're going to have here is score disp dot get components pikey brackets text and open close bracket dot text equals and we're going to make it so it says score and we're going to have some numbers there so let's type in score with the colon space quote and let's add in there the score num so for all intents and purposes this script now is going to display score num whenever we have a score here so we need to drag and drop that onto our global scripts so 
if we can find it, there it is. Score cube monitor onto global scripts. Uh, I have a dead script there, which I'm going to remove, which is fine. So we have it down here. So let's drag and drop that score display onto there. That's the main thing sorted. Now what we need to do is set up certain sections within these ledges, which allow us to add a score. So every time we go over one of these ledges, I want to add a score in there. So what we'll do is in ledge zero, let's duplicate this particular cube, the middle one. So hold control, press D. I'm going to drag it upwards and out of there, and I'm going to expand it to be three across. So it covers the entirety of that section or the ledge. This is going to be our score object. Now we need to tick on here is trigger because we're going to be using a trigger for all of this to work as intended. Let's untick mesh renderer so it becomes invisible. Next, let's create the script which allows us to add one to our score. So right click, create C sharp script, score adder. I know it's a very simple name. It's it just, it sounds childish, I guess, but it does what it needs to do. So all this script is going to do basically is whenever we pass through it, it's going to add, let's say 10 to our score. And we're only going to use the on trigger enter method. So void on trigger enter doesn't need to be private, but we do need to keep this in here. I explained this a good couple of tutorials ago when we were doing the orbs about tags and why we keep this in here. So we need to say if other dot tag equals, and that's a double equals, player object or whatever you set your tag as earlier in this tutorial, then we do the following. And that's going to be score cube monitor dot, and it's going to be score num plus equals, and I said 10, but this could be absolutely anything you want it to be. So I'm going to save that script. Now, theoretically, whenever we pass through this object, when we've applied the script, we should add 10 to our score. So let's check that out. Let's add the, if I can find it, score add a script to that score object right there. And because that's inside ledge zero, that will generate whenever we generate a ledge zero. So I'm going to save my scene and I'm going to test this out before I go full throttle with it. We need to kind of just make sure that whenever we pass one of those empty ledges that the score is adding up. And it is, we can see right there. Whenever we pass an empty ledge, it's adding zero, uh, it's adding 10 to our score. So that does also mean that we can duplicate that into the other ones. So I'm going to hold control, press D, duplicate score object, drag it along and then place it in ledge one. Do the same, hold control, press D, drag it along and drag that one into ledge two. Same again, into ledge three, and again, not too far, into ledge four. So you can see all I'm doing here is basically just placing a score object in each of those ledges. So each one generates its own scoring ability. And there we go. So if we press play now, once we get to the point where it starts generating, we start adding a score, like so. Perfect. So I said earlier about um, other little changes. I was thinking about changing how this script is set up to generate two of these sections every time we um, go through. Now, the reason being is because that does end up being quite hard. Even on a touch screen, it will end up being quite difficult. So what I was thinking is generating two of those between. So what we need to do is go into ledge generate and take that instantiate line where we instantiate ledge zero and ledge pos plus one and repeat those lines just below. Now by that same standard, our score is going to increase quite a lot because there's going to be a lot more of those plain uh, ledges. So what you could always do is turn off any scoring ability on that plain ledge. So you only get scores or a score when you go past one of these sections. So let's see how that pans out now. So there we go. 
and now it becomes easier as it were. However, I do have plans to make it harder once again. Because the idea is that I would like to kind of get speed up a little bit as we go further along. So it's up to you how you want to lay out your uh, level. You know, it, it's entirely up to you whether you want to do it this way or the way we previously had. Again, entirely up to you. So, so far it's looking quite good. Our score's counting up nicely. All good. So, next tutorial, what I think we're going to do is we are going to start looking at um, a bit further development into this because we've got everything in place now to have a fully functioning game. So I want to bring together uh, the section before we crash and the section after. So that means we're going to look at the bringing in the splash screen again, uh, resetting all that up like we've done before. And that will end up bringing us on to the ability to crash into these cubes and get game over. So until that next tutorial, guys, Thank you very much for watching.